You know what reviewing this movie did to me? It put me between a rock and a heart place. I mean, come on. I had to. I am blown away right now. Dude, you used to be fat, Robbie. <laughs> Look at you, this is like a total transformation, man. You look like Hercules or somebody. What did you do? Come on, man, give it to me. What'd no, you do? No, I didn't do much, really. Stop it. All right, well, I just did one thing. Well, come on, I need to know. I worked out six hours a day, every day, for the last 20 years straight. I mean, anybody can do it, right? Yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm, uh, I've, I've gotten into to hot yoga. <clears throat> Central Intelligence stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Kevin Hart coming together and telling the story of a boy who was bullied in school and what happens when he becomes a CIA agent and goes back to his old friend for a little bit of help. Do these two make a great comedy team? Let's find out with five things you might want to know before you see Central Intelligence. Okay, to be honest, I'm not sure if I was still on a Finding Dory high when I saw this or what, but I actually had a really good time with this. Let's start off with the humor. I think it really works. I not only do I think these two are great together, I think there's a real great balance they find in the humor here. It's a tricky balance to have something that's this over the top still be funny. I've talked about this before because you're going to some places that are unrealistic. So you have to toe that line of keeping the audience invested in a real world. And at the same time, doing things silly enough that they will think are funny. And I actually think this movie pulls it off fairly well. I laughed quite a bit. Now, a lot of that is due to our two main leads. So let's take them for points two and three. Let's start with The Rock. This guy's incredible. Like he can do anything. I know he's done comedy before. He's very good at comedy. It's a huge part of his persona, but this is a little different. I've never seen him do this where he's taking a tough guy character that he's become but he's basing it on a, you know, a kid who was bullied in school and was taken advantage of. So all that is playing underneath the surface. So he's kind of got this geeky exterior to him uh, or interior to him, I should say, when his exterior is still the rock and it worked. I thought he was great in this. And even though it was a little bit silly, I really thought he succeeded in the performance. But here's the part that's really crazy. Kevin Hart plays the straight man. Now, I don't mean to say he's not funny or silly or that he doesn't have those beautiful Kevin Hart exasperation moments where he loses his mind. What I mean to say is The Rock is the silly over the top one in this and Kevin Hart has to ground things in and somehow he pulls it off. Heads up, Kevin Hart might actually be a good actor. There's some stuff shining through here that I was really impressed with how he grounded into the more serious part of his role because he needed to so that The Rock could play off of him. That's something I don't see, I don't think I've seen in his bag of tricks before and uh, it was really quite impressive. But despite being funny and despite our leads being really good at what they're doing here, there's really not much else. There's not a, really a great underlying movie here. For one thing, the movie doesn't understand how to bring us along. It kind of starts and stops throughout the process. There's a real inconsistent pacing, uh, a loss of focus. There's unnecessary like repeat foreshadowing of things that they make way too obvious. All of that results in a feeling of kind of, you know, hitting the brakes and then hitting the gas and can be a little distracting to the audience. So I really wish they had got that pacing a little bit better. But really the main problem of this is once you get beyond these leads and the humor that they create, there's nothing special about the story. There's nothing special about this mystery, about the investigation stuff. None of the twists or turns seem especially interesting. It's like they're counting on the leads here, on The Rock and Kevin Hart, to bring us along well enough that we don't pay attention to the fact that there's nothing underneath the curtain, behind the curtain, or underneath the curtain, either way. The point is, it's just them. And the thing is, it might actually work. They really are that good. Overall, I feel like Central Intelligence, despite being an empty plot and not much going on beyond how good The Rock and Kevin Hart are, they're good enough for me to bring it up to a B. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll get to the best ever challenge here in a bit. First, I wanna let you know, if you wanna know more about what goes on here, click the info button up here. You get a look at other reviews that have happened, how to go to the website. Uh, you can also donate to the channel if you wanna do that. Uh, let's hang out on social media. You can find me on Periscope, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, Twitter, wherever. Just search for my name, 
Aaron Dicer, Wing and Chat Movies, all sorts of fun stuff there. A A R O N D I C E R. Uh, subscribe to the podcast, Sift Pop, S I F T P O P. If you do the podcast thing, we have a blast. Uh, this week we talked about Finding Dory, uh, you know, Pixar highs and lows. We kind of ranked some Pixar stuff. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we do that every single week, so you can subscribe and have some fun with, with us there. All right, on to the best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also try to identify my choice. Uh, let's talk about Dwayne Johnson. What's your favorite rock movie ever? Favorite movie with Dwayne the Rock Johnson in it. Uh, in this best ever challenge, I'm going to have to go with the one where he tells secrets he shouldn't. Possibly in prison. Although, maybe not who's in prison. But people who tell secrets in prison, never mind, you should know it by now. Take a guess at mine in the comments, as well as leave your choice there too. And here you go, five extra seconds to hit subscribe, just in case you never want to uh, miss another review. Also pumps up my subscriber numbers, which is nice. Just click the logo right down here. Close to a thousand. That's big, right?